Good day, traders. This is Rich with some trade station action today. It is currently Saturday, June 13th, 2020, 11 a.m. And you're seeing my full desktop here today. And what I would like to do is go over some of the settings I've changed over the course of the last month of learning TradeStation. It's definitely taken me some time to really adjust to everything. There's so much here. I mean, if you just click on this apps button here, you can see all the different things you have up, you know, all the different options you have to look at the markets from radar screens to actual developing your own trading strategies using e easy language. Um, you have just so much information here. I use it probably on the bare minimum um, for what I need. I mean, I use everything from, you know, the radar to charts to me, sometimes the hot list. Um, but definitely the charts, uh, the matrix, and level two and time and sales, which are probably the most important part of trading anyway. I'd like to share with you today is how I trade Tesla with such a fast moving stock in using the matrix. Um, getting into orders right now, I'm currently using um, the level two here. I set my quantity. And I can click on any price here. You can see how it changes right there. Um, and if it's not, you know, if it's 925 and I want to go up a little bit, I can just click on this and take it me to 925.07 real quick. And then I can hit buy on depending on the quantity of orders. I'd like to eventually try to enter orders on the matrix, but I'm finding it a little bit easier sometimes to um, use this for entry and exiting using scale outs for exiting. So let's say I'm in for. Well, no, I'm not doing 420 there. But let's say we do 50 shares of Tesla, and I want to scale out on tens. I can click here and select, you know, where I want to scale out. This is a core right now. It's say, saying short, but let's say it's at 918.60. Markets are closed, so there's no movement, and I want to scale out at 920.17. I could just click here, and it'll send a limit order simply where I want it. Now, going back to what I originally was doing was I would enter my trade on this particular screen, which is fine. This is Tesla as well. I have my level two, my time and sales. I have a five minute, I have a daily, and I have a two minute. Um, and then I'd usually switch to scaling, my scaling workspace. And as you can see, it looks okay, but notice how I reduced the font on here. This is 916, 19, and this is 916, 92. The thing about the matrix is it goes up and down so fast with Tesla because it can move at a point at a time and it takes a little bit for this to catch up. So what I realized, so at first I tried to minimize the font and you know at first I was only seeing like 40 cents. Now I'm seeing almost a dollar um, and it would move 40 cents on one trade. So it was like I, I couldn't see, I couldn't follow, I couldn't enter, I couldn't or I couldn't exit my trades the way really way I want or the, wa the way I wanted to. And it started getting annoying. So I'm like, what can I do to improve my scale out? So everything's staying the same right now on the TradeStation platform for the matrix, other than one major change. And this has really made it a lot easier. So I created this workspace here called Tesla Trading Matrix. So if I get in a trade for Tesla, I'm mostly gonna go up to this screen. I know my entry, let's say it's 940. Um, and I decide, that's where I want to enter my trade. I can enter my trade using the level two. Now, when it comes to scaling, I then want to be in the procedure of scaling out. But notice the different prices now. I have 916 at the bottom. If you remember before, it was like 916.80. Look at the top, 921.20. So we're talking $5 for Tesla. This is why I only created for Tesla because um, I do not want to have this kind of incremental difference along the chart on other stocks. Um, maybe Amazon and um, Google and things like that would like it like this um, because they move in such large uh, quantities. But now I could see in 10 cent moves, in 10 cent moves, if I'm in for 50 shares, I can see it much easier. So if it moves up a buck, I mean, I'm going from 9.18.60 9.18.60 to 9.19.60. I can see that really easy in this little space. Um, it works also when I'm in the defensive mode and it's going against me. 
uh, I can really see where I want to exit. If, I, if I'm giving my stock two dollar stop, you know, I can go nine eighteen sixty, and then I know it's on the next screen below, but it's not. No, I'm sorry, it's 9.1860. I know my stop is right here at 9.1680. So it's really close and it doesn't move as fast and I'm able to follow it much easier. So this is something you might wanna consider. And the way you do it, it's really simple once you get your, you know, all this has been um, set to my preferences from this level two. And I'll go through this over the course of time. Um, my level two, my time in sales and the matrix and charts because you want it set up the way you you know, I'm continuously changing, but for the most part, I found the system pretty works works pretty well for me, and I'll continue it to evolve. So what I'd like to do is just show you how to change the increments from, let's say, on the scaling wins, which is one cent, one cent. Not you know, this is one or nine sixteen sixty one sixty two sixty three sixty four. That's that's fine for anything under a hundred, or anything under like we'll say Apple. Maybe Apple will be fine. Um, like 300, but anything above that, I, I want uh, to see a little bit more, especially for Tesla, which moves dramatically. Um, I, I screwed up on a trade the other day because of this, and if I had seen this, it would have been a huge gain for me, and I ended up taking a small loss on it because it was a $5 move, and th the pipes were full, like all the data was flowing in so fast, I saw it go from $9.99 to $1,005 in like 10 seconds. And I would have seen that, you know, I would have seen that on the matrix. Um, but in this format, in the other format, I didn't see it because it was just like all over the place and it didn't catch up in time. So all you have to do to change the incremental value is click on, right click in the numbers here, hit on settings and go to window. And right here on the first general tab, um, you can see here, there's an axis increment and there's a custom. So for most, it's normally 0.01, I changed it to 0.10. So now I'm set up perfectly for 10 cent moves. 10 cent moves on Tesla is not that big because you're not trading 10,000 shares of Tesla if you're a small day trader, you know what I mean? If you're tra trading 50 shares, even 100 shares, you know, that's fine. Um, 100 shares, you gotta remember, that's a lot of, you're putting a lot. You're putting ninety-one thousand dollars at risk. You may trade two hundred thousand or two hundred shares, or five, max, let's say five hundred shares. I would say is where you want to be for this. Um, but the increments definitely allow you to see it in without this screen going up and down really fast, and you're not able to follow. If you're watching the P&L, that's different. But I'm actually watching the price action in here for scaling because if it moves up forty cents, sixty cents, I could see it being like right here, and that's fine 40 cents is right here before it was the second page and it would scroll up and it'll take forever so again just right click click on settings hit window and then in the general you can see this access increment so you can change it to point one out so if i do it to point oh one see here watch what happens it goes back to normal so 55 56 57 58 59 too much for tesla just i've now i'm glad i changed this it really helped the other day it was much easier to see it and i have to worry about the scrolling so just a quick tip i hope that helps you out um just change the custom go back to 0 0.10 and then you're boom you know you can do a 0 0.05 you can do whatever you want you can do point you can do two cents um especially for larger stocks so i'll create this workspace here called tesla uh, trading matrix and i think it's really going to help me um take tesla trades in the future so you guys have a good one Hope this helped, let me know, and I'll continue to make videos based on my platform setup.